So hi dear Libra, very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Libra from uh, uh, 4 till the 10th of November. Please keep in mind the roles can be reversed also. And uh, I told you the timeline for this reading and it is uh, like valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story. Now if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that, I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And I'm here because of Ho'oponopono only. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So, let's start. Libra, let's see. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see what's happening. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Nine of swords. It's like a lack of sleep, anxiety, stressful kind of energies around the situation where somebody is very stressed out about the whole situation, whole dynamics and they might be trying to understand what's going on. Let me clarify the Nine of swords here. We have the nine of cups, the two of swords and the ten of cups. Okay. See, this is someone who feels like you really make them happy. This is a situation where uh, this person thinks that uh, you give them happiness. But then, uh, but, but then this person is not sure about the future direction of the situation. They are not able to understand whether this situation is ever going to go beyond a certain point or this situation is always going to be like this only where both of you are feeling happy about the situation, especially the other person. But they are not able to understand where it can go. Right? The future direction is not the, that much clear as of now and this is stressing them a lot. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side Libra. Gosh. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. Okay. This could be a friendship kind of a dynamic only and uh, you feel like uh, going beyond a friendship kind of a level maybe. But you don't feel like uh, keeping the situation as a friendship kind of a deal only. Let me clarify the page of pentacles in reverse for you guys, Libra. We have the ace of pentacles, the king of, queen of swords and the hierophant. It's like you feel like having a very uh, proper understanding and clarity about the future direction of the situation. You feel like you guys should talk it out with each other and understand what the other person wants here, right? And you feel like uh, coming to the conclusion that this is it and this is what where it is going to be and this is how it is going to be. So you feel like not having just a friendship kind of a deal only in the situation. You feel like definitely having more than that and clearing the picture with each other, each other that this is going to go on this way and this is, uh, this is the conclusion. Wow. The other person is not able to understand where it can go and you feel like you should clear the air with them regarding the future direction. You don't feel like just be a friend to this person or this situation. Okay, let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? They want clarity, they want truth, they want the understanding of what, what it is for you and what you want out of this. And you also feel like having that. So basically you guys are on the same page. Let me clarify the Ace of Swords here. We have the Tower, the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups. This person wants to know whether you love them or not whether there is something uh, going on behind the scenes that they are not able to see. So this person basically wants to know what you are feeling for them. They want you to express your feelings to them with honesty, with truthfulness, even if they are not love feelings, even if they are just friendship kind of a feeling or if just a soft corner. Whatever it is, this person wants you to express to them what you really, really feel about them. They don't want you to hide anything from them, like anything. Every detail about your life, every detail about your feelings, about your energies, this is what they want from you, honesty and truthfulness. Let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side, Libra. Nine of Cups, all you want is to be happy. You just want to be happy, you just want to have your wish fulfilled and your wish right now is to be with somebody who can like uh, be with you for a longer period of time and or for the rest of your life maybe. You want commitment, you want a spiritual connection with somebody. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. 
we have the chariot, the page of cups, the queen of pentacles. You want to settle down with somebody, Libra. It's like uh, if not this person, you feel like you should move on to the next person, to the next energy who is going to give you the happiness and the wish, uh, wish fulfillment of having a strong connection, a strong bond, a happily ever after kind of a deal between you and them. So you want your wish to be fulfilled and your wish is, here is to have a, a like a strong bond, a strong connection, a strong relationship with the person who is going to be there for you next, okay? Hmm. Let's see what's coming towards you till the 10th of November. We have the two of swords, okay. There will be this energy of uh, feeling blocked in the situation, not able to see the clear picture of the situation from both the sides. Like, okay, we uh, we have a good bonding, we have a good friendship, but uh, it's like we don't know where it is going or where it is going to end or something like that, conclusion of the situation. We have the page of pentacles, the six of wands, the four of swords, right. The situation is going to go on hold naturally because... Uh, at least one of you is uh, is not going to be able to understand where the situation is going or where what they want from the situation. One of you might be is very very clear that they want marriage, commitment, long term partnership. The other person is going to be like, okay, I, I I feel the friendship, I feel the feelings, I feel good about it, but I don't know about the future direction of the situation. This is naturally going to put the situation on hold for both the people, right? So it's like a. Uh, Hold in the situation, uh, pause in the situation because one of you is not going to able, not uh, able to understand uh, where it is going. So it's going to take some more time. Sorry, for the situation to unfold naturally, the way it should. Right? Let's see the guidance for you guys here. We have the ten of cups and the lovers and the five of wands. Don't take any kind of life changing decision when you are in conflict or chaos, or when the other per person and uh, other energy needs time. Give them time. Okay, you can fix the like time limit like uh, five days, five weeks, five months or whatever. I'm just giving you an example that there's nothing like five days, five weeks. I mean, don't get stuck on that. See, the thing is, if the other person uh, needs time to resolve their conflict and chaos that they're going through regarding the situation, give them time. But if you are the one who needs time, tell them very, very openly and honestly that you need time in order to make the decision because this is something that's going to change the life of both the people involved in the situation for the rest of their lives even if it is something that is that is going to uh, be a temporary situation taking your time understanding each other's energies and then deciding is going to be beneficial for both of you so basically don't take any type type of life changing decision until unless you're 100 percent sure that you want to go in this direction and you want to take the risk of uh, going in this direction <laughs> anyway so thank you so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste